Good morning from Sveria. Good morning from Soleftio, Sweden, everybody, and welcome to the 2013 IPC Nordic Skiing World Championships. My name is Randy Ferguson, and once again, I will be with you here today. It is a still a balmy five degrees Celsius. The winds are, uh, slightly uh, uh, less than the, the two previous days, where they have been a bit problematic for some of the athletes, and uh, that is good news because today. Biathlon starts, so we want those winds to be uh, pretty tame as the athletes move into the firing range. So it's a 7.5 kilometer sit ski for the men first. And there you see on screen our uh, lineup. It will start uh, with Kamil Rojek uh, of uh, Poland, who was a silver medalist at the World Championships in uh, 2011, a bronze medalist from Salt Lake City, and has been in the sport since uh, 1993, Roland Rupp uh, from Italy, also in uh, the group. Romain Rozic, un des membres de la Formation Française, sera également au départ aujourd'hui, 13e à Vancouver. And we'll be finishing off uh, the morning with with uh, Kozo Kubo, the IPC's uh, Athlete of the Month for January. He's won bronze already this year in Vukati and won the event in Cable, Wisconsin. Then we'll go to our women's sit ski six kilometer race. And uh, in her first competition, we will see Korea's uh, Vorami Seo. And uh, finishing off today uh, will be our winner from Cable Wisconsin's World Cup earlier this year, Nadezhda Andrieva from Russia. So the Russian team wanting uh, to keep up uh, the pace here as they've uh, won many medals throughout the first days of competition. This is what our stadium uh, and our uh, course will look like for the men's 7.5 race. It is three times around a 2.5 kilometer loop. It is what we call the biathlon short distance. And this is the sit ski event. And then for the women, a slightly different course. We get rid of the uh, loop at the bottom of uh, the lap and uh, we cut back into the stadium faster. It will be three times uh, through the two kilometer loop here at the biathlon stadium at Hall Staberget in Soleftio, Sweden. So a uh, first day of biathlon competition as we've gone through already three days of cross-country skiing. And immediately we uh, turn our attention to the start line as uh, we have our first uh, athletes getting ready to go. And as I said, Camille uh, Rosiak will go first wearing bib number one. Roland Rupp from Italy will be a second. He is also a hand cyclist at a very high level. Eric Fraser from the United States of America will be third out of the gate and completing the top of four out of the gate. Alexander Kornyko from the Ukraine. So Kamil Rosiak from Poland ready to go. Will it be a day in silver for him or gold possibly today? That silver was his placing in 2011 in the 7.5k event. So once again, the athletes will uh, complete a first loop, move in to the range. Five targets to hit on five shots. And if they miss one of their targets, they uh, have to go around the penalty loop, which is 150 meters. So that is the consequence for missing a target. And uh, if you miss two targets, it's two times around that loop, three tar targets, three times around that loop. Hence, uh, that is the way it goes. So athletes have five shots to hit five targets. So this is all about managing your effort, but also managing the nerves and the heart rate as you settle down into the firing position. Just waiting here for the start. Alors, on attend dans quelques instants le départ de notre premier compétiteur de la Pologne, Camille Rojek. Here we go. And the countdown has indicated that today's racing has started at the 2013 IPC Nordic Skiing World Championships here in Soleftio, Sweden. And the temperature still way over zero degrees. We've been above freezing point for almost 48 hours now. However, they are calling for colder weather and uh, dipping below zero tonight. Roland Rupp, skier since 1993. Bronze at the Salt Lake City Paralympic Games in 2002. And 
for the United States, for les États-Unis d'Amérique. Fraser is now on course. And Fraser a hopeful for Sochi, the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania native. Now we start with Oleksandr Kornyko of the Ukraine. At the start, number five, the great Sergei Shilov. He is a Sochi Games ambassador. He is also a member of the Paralympic Executive Committee for Paralympics in Russia. So a man we've seen many a times on the podium during these top events. And he was actually a silver medalist in the 2.4 pursuit in Vancouver. Now right behind him, Jeremy Wagner of the United States. Eighth place during an event in Cable, Wisconsin in January. And finishing fourth during the U.S. Championships at Soldier Hollow. Now it's Yuri Kostyuk. Kostyuk already uh, has already been at the top of uh, this biathlon world in 2006 at the uh, Paralympic Games in Torino. He uh, was the silver medalist. Just in front of uh, his countrymate Sergei Kishnyak that we'll see very soon in the start gate. Now part of uh, the uh, big contingent coming from Belarus. Uh, we have coming out of the start gate, that is uh, Yohani Lukianenka. Been in this sport uh, since March of 2009, so coming up uh, on his uh, fourth year of competition. And there is uh, now a uh, Another Ukrainian here, Maxim Yarovi. Ukrainian team also very numerous in the events here this weekend as once again very close to home when it comes to uh, the next uh, Paralympic Games. Wanting to uh, really focus on finishing the training this next year and uh, Yarovsky uh, doing, Yarovi, I'm sorry, doing very good in the long distance event in the cross country skiing, ending up fifth uh, two days ago. Now, number 10, Sergei Krishnyak, bronze medalist from uh, Torino. He was 15th this year at Vukati, first World Cup of the season, and uh, ended up ninth uh, in uh, the short distance event in Vancouver where uh, we did not have the 7.5 they were shorter distances or longer 12.5 and uh, I'm not mistaken they did a 2.4 for the men Mihailo Chachenko another Ukrainian skier Chachenko ending up 14th in the long distance two days ago and a respectable fifth in the sprint event on our first day of competition. And now for the United States of America, this is Sean Halstead. Halstead winning bronze at the, the US Nationals this year, early January of 2013. Also a very respectable seventh place at the Cable Wisconsin event where we had some of the uh, top skiers in the world, Kubo, Masiello, 
Ilaludinov, Kuznetsov were all there part of that uh, day. Now Grigory Murigin. Murigin, uh, the bronze medalist of our sprint event on the first day of uh, competition. Let's see how he fares here in our first biathlon competition of these world championships. And the athletes will be making their way into the firing range after a one lap that totals here 2.5 kilometers for the men. The silver medalist now from the 2011 World Championships that were held in Russia. Ivan Goncharov. And for uh, Goncharov, it was a seventh place. A minute 31 off of the pace of his uh, countrymate Zadipov. And that was at uh, the uh, Vukati Biathlon Stadium earlier this year. Finland. Back to the start now with Trigve Steiner Larsen. So Larsen just making it into the top 10 earlier this year at uh, the event in Cable, Wisconsin. Telemark to be more precise. We'll see what uh, his result will be here today. He's always a uh, Worked very hard, a bit of uh, bad luck in the long distance event, having to change his skis. Ending up fourth in the sprint, just off the podium. So maybe looking for some revenge here, or some redemption, at least. This is Martin Flag, 11th in Vukati. Just prior to Christmas of last year. Et maintenant, Romain Rosic pour la France, 13e à Vancouver. Un homme habitué des Jeux Paralympiques. De nouveau en compétition ici pour la France. Rosic qui a terminé 13e à la longue distance. Et 9e au sprint. Première journée de compétition. So here we go. We'll have Ron Rupp now making his way into the uh, firing range. And as you'll see, the athletes uh, being designated by the marshals will assume a uh, position getting ready to fire. For the uh, visually impaired athletes, it will be a different system, you know, what we call acoustic guns, or rifles, I should say. And uh, these uh, rifles are based on uh, an acoustic acoustic high-powered pitch the closer they get to the target but for Holland our Sitski here it is all about uh, concentration now five shots for five targets oh, one miss there So for Roland Rupp, it will be three shots missed. Also for Camille Orosiak, who came in just before him. So once again, that will be three penalty loops for them. Those loops have to be done immediately, just behind the shooting gallery there. Here's the man who won gold in 2011. Gold in Vancouver. He's presently 16th on the IPC ranking. This is Irek Zaripov. Had a rough go at things this week. Not seeming to be top form. But however, one race can change your attitude and uh, your feelings physically and mentally. Now the man who was fourth in cable, fifth in the IPC ranking right now. Uh, this is number 22, Alexei Banchenkov. I'm sorry, he was not fourth in cable, fifth in IPs. That was Ila Ludinov. So Baichenko, Baichenok, I'm sorry. So Alexei Baichenok is now on course. And 
we already have a leader in the uh, firing range. We just saw Alexander Karniko not miss one single shot. Gianenka now in the range. Lukianenko, it is uh, three missed shots, Wagner two. So once again, that those that will be represented on the board here as they will have to go through a certain number of penalty loops. And then the time will be posted after they have completed those penalty loops for 2.5k now we go down to our start line once again with the uh, italian enzo mattioli and uh, once again uh, the italian silver medalist in the 15k cross-country race the other day so Massiello one bronze and cable is third on the 20 2013 ipc January ranking and a man who's used to gold he already has two gold here this weekend at the world championships this is from Russia leader of the January 2013 IPC silver in Vancouver of a short distance event this is Roman Petushkov going for his third gold medal here so right now our leaders after 2.5 kilometers Korniko Wagner Rozhek and our last starter of this morning for the men. He was the IPC Athlete of the Month of January. He was uh, our bronze medalist in the cross country 15K, sixth in the Vancouver 12.5K biathlon event. Bronze in Vukati, winner in cable, and uh, really working hard to be part of the Japanese team in uh, in Sochi, that is Kozo Kubo. As now we have a visual here on the screen to Trigve Steinar Larsen. So Mihailo Chachenko, now our leader with no missed shots. Kornenko, uh, also no missed shots. Chachenko, 8.27.5. 25 seconds behind is Korniko. With one missed shot, Sergei Kishnak is uh, in third. But watch out, Grigori. Uh, Murigin has now uh, slammed the time by Chanchenko as he has finished the 2.5k lap in 7.45.5. So he is our leader right now. Uh, Grigori Murigin, the bronze medalist from the sprint event on the first day of competition. So here comes uh, Norias Trigve Steinar Larsen of Norway. He'll settle down into uh, range number lucky 13. And let's see what he'll be able to accomplish. So this is where the athlete needs, needs to calm the heartbeat, focus, and uh, hit as many targets with five shots as possible. So it's three out of five for Trigve Steinar Larsen. So two penalty laps for him. Once again, they are 150 meters long. So still our leader, Grigory Morigin, Ivan Goncharov, Mihailo Chachenko. Those three men are within 42 seconds of each other. And now we are going to go to our women's startup. And we've already seen Seo Iovleva. Zenulunia, uh, and now we have number 34, Svetlana Konolo, Konovalova. Sorry, Svetlana Konovalova in the start, who uh, has already this year a fourth spot in Vukati, a fourth place ranking 
in Vukati. So Seo from Korea has already taken off. Yovaleva, the 10K gold medalist from Vancouver, also on course. Zenulina uh, from Russia, already on course. Konovalova, and now Anya Vicker, fifth in uh, this event in uh, Vukati earlier on this year. Sixth this week in the long distance event here at Soleftio, and fourth in the sprint. So the German is now on course. And now the great Olena Yurkovska, winner of this year's event in Vukati, silver medalist of the 10K in Vancouver, gold medalist at this event in Torino at the Games in 2006, and also a silver medalist in Salt Lake City in 2002. So she is one of the forces to reckon with, even if she is one of the veterans of the scene. And another very strong skier out now Ludmila Pavlenko from the Ukraine Pavlenko our bronze medalist of the long distance event two days ago and also bronze in Torino in 2006 six, and she was second silver medalist in Vukati earlier in the season World champ uh, now in the long distance event uh, a few days ago. Also a three time paracycling Paralympic game medalist. Uh, she won the road race and uh, the uh, time trial this year. Bronze in the 10K event in Vancouver, third at Vukati, Andrea Escal from Germany. And last but not least, the winner from the Cable Wisconsin event earlier this year from Russia. Here she goes. This is Nadezhda Andreeva. Andreeva seventh in our cross country long distance and 10th in the sprint. So probably right along the uh, distances that she likes here as we see uh, coming into uh, the firing range. Ramil Ilarudinov from Russia. And we are seeing him on our screen. So right now, Leading after 2.5 kilometers, Grigory Murigin. Ivan Goncharov is 33.8 seconds behind. And Daniel Knossen of the United States, a fantastic performance here. Knossen, very, very strong throughout uh, these events, has already won a silver medal. He was 12th at the World Champs in 2011, but has done enormous amounts of work. And right there, looking very strong, Ramil Ilarudinov has not missed one shot. His first time into the firing range. And what will be Ludinov's time? He is in second, so 25.7 seconds slower than Grigory Morigan. So it is a 1-2-3 for Russia again. Kanasen. Trying to squeak in there in fourth right now after 2.5 kilometers. And watch out, here comes uh, the two-time gold medalist this week. Another top-ranked Russian. This is Roman Petushkov. Let's see what he can accomplish in the range. So one miss for Petushkov. That will cost him a 150 meter penalty lap. And now, still a very strong performance by the Belarus. Dmitry Oloban, fourth in the IPC ranking in January. He was fifth in this event in Vukati, filling earlier on in the season. Now coming, the uh, winner of our last 7.5K event at the World Cup in um, the men's Sitski category from Japan, Kozo Kubo. So Murigin, Ilaludinov, Loban. Oh, Enzo Masiello now coming through. A beautiful performance, zero missed shots. And he is only 14 seconds behind Murigin. So Petushkov is third.
And Kubo is perfect in the firing range as he hits five out of five. Let's see now, will he cross the timing tape uh, to take the lead here? Murigan, 745.5 for the first 2.5. Masiello is second, 759.8, seconds off the pace. Roman Petushkov is third with one missed shot. And uh, now Kozo Kubo is in third. So 8.027, he is 17.2 seconds behind Murigan, who has been our fastest of the morning here after 2.5 kilometers. And here comes our first uh, women's competitor. So here we go after 2.5 kilometers. Murigan, Masiello, Kubo, Petushkov is in fourth with one missed shot, 23.4 seconds back, and Ila Ludinov is in fifth. Now coming in, Konovalova. Let's see what she can accomplish here. So some uh, very difficult uh, shooting there for Konovalova. Missing three, if I'm not mistaken. No change in our top three men. Still Murigin, Masiello, and Kubo. It was a perfect uh, run through here. The firing range for Marta Zenulina. As she has uh, the best time right now for two Ks and 8.8. .8. We'll get a time for Konovalova soon as she completes a three laps of that 150 meter penalty lap. Coming in now, the great Olena Yorkoska. And leaving is Maria Yovaleva. Well, three missed shots for her, so that'll be also three times around the penalty loop for Yovaleva. Anja Vicker now for Germany. Settling into the firing range. So three out of five for Anja Vicker. So two penalty laps for her at the 2K mark. So the only two uh, skiers to register here, Olena Yorkovska, a perfect pass through at the uh, 2K mark, 752-1. Marta Zinulina, 8.085, so she leads by 16.4 seconds. And uh, now completing uh, their penalty laps are Yoveleva, Konovalova, and Vicker. So we'll have some time for the times for them soon. Uh, Murigan, Masiello, Kubo are leaders in uh, the men's uh, sit ski competition, as uh, we already have uh, uh, some results from our 5K now. So M Murigan, Goncharov, Yarovi. But still uh, some of those uh, other skiers to make their way to uh, the firing range. And we just saw motoring out of there. Martin Flag, who had zero missed shots on that last uh, time through. And now, oh, look at this, Erik Zaripov is back in the mix. He's had a difficult start to these World Championships, but one miss on his first time through the firing gallery on his second and last time, no misses. He is presently 31 seconds off the pace of Grigori Murigan, who's been perfect today in his two uh, passes 
through the firing range. So it is Murigan, Zaripov, Goncharov, Andy Sewell, Maxim Yarovi, Mihailo Chachenko, Daniel Knassen, Martin Flag, Alexander Kornico, and Sergei Shilov. And that is for our top 10 right now after five kilometers. So the men have completed, most of them have completed their second pass through the firing range and now on their way through their last lap. For the women, Yurkovska, Zenulina, Vikar, Pavlenko, Konovalova. And it is a battle for first between Yurkovska and Zenulina as they're only separated by 16.4 seconds. And uh, in third, Vikar is a full minute and 18 seconds back. So let's see how that goes on their second lap through the stadium here. And now a very good performance in the range. Once again, perfect as he comes through for the second time is Ramil Ilalutninov. A bit slower, however, as he is uh, clocked a 15.50 for his 5K mark compared to 15-11 for Murigan, who was also perfect. So it's Murigan, Zaripov, Ilaludinov. Loban has now dropped to fourth place. Loban from Belarus. So looking maybe to have another Russian sweep here, as we just saw coming over the line. Uh, that was uh, Ukraine's Alexander Kornyko. And finishing is a Grigory Morigan with a 21-33-6. Uh, Kamil Rozik also from Poland, 26-42. But the time to beat right now for a gold medal will be that of Grigory Morigan from Russia. Zaripov, once again, at the 5K mark, was 23 seconds off his pace. And Irek Zaripov was 31 uh, sorry, Patushkov was 23.1, Zaripov 31.1. But watch out, here comes uh, the man who was sec uh, third after 2.5 kilometers, Kozo Kubo, the winner from uh, Cable, uh, Wisconsin. Let's see what he will be able to accomplish in the range. He will need almost perfection to stay in the running here. Kuzo is uh, Kuzo Kubo is five for five, meaning that he is still in the running here for a medal spot with 2.5 kilometers to go. And back to the women's race. Yurkovska, Zinulina, Vikar are one, two, three after 2K. And now some of our athletes making their way to the 4K mark. But right now, at the finish line, Murigan has clocked the fastest time with two perfect uh, runs through the firing range of 21.33.6. Mihailo Chachenko with a one miss on his second attempt, 23.23.9, a full minute 50 behind. And Luka Yanenka from Belarus uh, is now in third, very fast despite missing five targets total. So we'll see as Ronan Rupp, Rupp from Italy, 28-24, sitting sixth right now, but unfortunately a hard day for him in the range, twice missing three shots. Coming up now to the finish line, Sergei Kishniak. Kishniak from the Ukraine, bronze medalist in 2011 and also at the Paralympic Games in Torino. What will it be for him? Gisniak was 14th and 19th respectively. He's moved up presently to 5th. Uh, and Ivan Goncharov has now gone through. 23-22, a full minute, 48 seconds behind Murigan who has dominated this competition. And now at the 4K mark, our women starting to come in. We see Konovalova, number 34. In our men's Sitsky competition, more athletes. Maxim Yarovi from the Ukraine. One minute 38 off the pace of Murigin. 
23-11-8. And here comes now Sergei Shilov, the great Russian skier, Paralympic Games ambassador for Sochi. For Shilov, it is a time of 25-10. He is presently in sixth place. So Marta Zenulina has gone by the 4K mark in the women's race. She uh, missed one target. 15.55 is her time for four kilometers here this morning. Welcome everybody. You are watching the 2013 IPC Nordic Skiing World Championships live from Soliftio, Sweden. It is uh, the uh, biathlon short distance, 7.5K. As we just saw moving in here, Ilek Zaripov. So Zadipov only 15 seconds off the pace set by Grigory Murigan. So Zadipov back in uh, the leaderboard here. Yuri Kostyuk, however, having a bit more of a difficult day. The Ukrainian who had won silver in uh, Torino at the Paralympic Games in this event is presently 10th. So Olena Yorkovska back to the ladies race is leading by 39.1 seconds after her second time through the shooting range in front of Marta Zenulina. Sprinting to the end now. Uh, that was one of the American com competitors. Uh, that was Daniel Knossen. So Knossen sixth right now, two minutes 22 off the pace of Morigan. Martin Flag of uh, Germany. 2.47 seconds off the lead. Andrew Sewell from uh, the United States, a respectable fourth place for Sewell. 23.19 seconds off the lead. I'm sorry, 23.19 is his fina fi finish time for 7.5, 1.45 off the lead. So a minute 45 off the leader's time. Back to the ladies race here with Yarkovska leading Zenulina by 39 seconds. Konovaroa is 1 minute and 43 seconds behind the leader in third. Coming through the line now, number 15, Trigve Steiner Larsen uh, in 14th place, 26 23 9. So Murigan Zaripov, and now here, Ila Ludinov coming in. He is 58 seconds off Murigan's time, but squeaks into third place for the moment. Now sprinting towards the line, Sean Halstead. Seventh place in Cable, Wisconsin, early on this year. And he comes 17th for Sean. It'll be a time of 27 27 3. Unfortunately, that second first time through the range, very costly for Sean. And it's four out of five here for the second trip through the firing range for Nadezhda Andrieva of Russia. So a 150-meter penalty loop for her. So will it be sufficient to make her way back to the top of the board? She was in fourth just off the pace of a bronze medal. Four seconds to be more precise. Romain Rosic maintenant qui termine chez les messieurs. Alors pour Rosic, 12e provisoirement, 25-01-01. Tout de même, des bons passages avec seulement un coup de manqué à chaque passage au champ de tir. Oh, just missing one shot every time through the firing range. Alexei Vajchenok. On his way out of... The uh, penalty loop, or I should say, making his way back from his trip out of the penalty loop. And there he is coming up, number uh, 22, Alexei Vychenok. He was out of the running in 17th after five kilometers. Let's see where he sits here. Two and three misses in uh, the range, not where you want to be here, as he is presently 13, provisionally 13, 25.08 
is his time. Now coming, the winner from Cable, Wisconsin. He was second after five kilometers. What will it be for a perfect day in the range? Kozo Kubo, second. Oh, five tenths of a second only behind Grigori Morigan is Kozo Kubo. Oh, so close. So close for Kozo Kubo. Perfect in the range, perfect on his skis, but coming up five tenths of a second short from a gold medal performance here. That right now belongs to Grigori Murigin of Russia. Enzo Masiello now making his way to the finish line. 11th at the 5K mark. What will this look like for him at the end? It will not be sufficient today for a podium presence as Masiello provisionally now sitting in seventh. So right now in seventh place, Igor Kuznetsov now. Kuznetsov at the, the uh, 5K mark. Was sitting uh, pretty far back. And uh, today uh, he uh, will uh, end up here in 23rd place, not where he wanted to be. And watch out, our first women to cross the line here. Here we are. Coming up, uh, Marta Zenulina. And watch out, we uh, may have missed Andrea Eskow's arrival as I have her here on the board. But that, uh, I think, is there because we do not have a time for a four-kilometer marker for Andrea. So that it will be a uh, default uh, result right now. So Marta Zenulina, but here comes Olena Yorkovska and posting the new best time of 21.17.3 right in front of Marta Zenulina. So we had... At the 4K mark, Yarkovska, Zenulina, and Vikar. We now have Yarkovska, Zenulina, who will get third place because uh, Vikar was slightly leaning Pavlenko at the 4K mark. Let's see if that continues here. Here uh, comes uh, right now number 34 from Russia, Konovalova. She makes her way to the finish line. Last little climb here. That the scrubbed area in the woods. Very hard first time through the uh, range. So it is fourth right now for Svetlana Konovalova. Jeremy Wagner making his way into the stadium in the men's Sitsky category. So Murigan, Kubo, Petushkov. Uh, one, two, and three for the men. And for Jeremy, we're looking at 27th place for him for the United States of America. So Yorkovska, Zenulina, Konolova. Konovalova, and uh, we still are waiting for Anja Vikar. And that is that her coming up right now. No, this is uh, Vorami Seo from Korea completing uh, her uh, first biathlon race if I'm not mistaken or this will be her four kilometer mark yes this will be four kilometers for Vorami Seo so her second time through the firing range and now we just had a visual there on Andja Viker third last time around but watch out here comes Ludmila Pavlenko bronze medalist in this event in Torino second of Vucati this year and she is now in fourth place a uh, third place I'm sorry because we still have Eskow up on the board but that will be scratched Yorkovska Zenulina Pavlenko one, two, and three right now. Here comes Anja Vikar, third. So Anja is just a squeak to buy. And that will be second because that uh, score being short here by, showed here by Eskow is uh, not uh, supposed to be there. So it's Yarkovska, Vikar, Zenulina. 
in that order. So a very good uh, performance by Anya. Perfect in her second time through the uh, firing range. So Jorkowska, Viker, Zenulina in that order. 21 17, 22, and 22 13 are their respective times. And coming to the finish line now, this will be Nadeja Andrieva. And she will move into sixth place with a time of 23 20.8. 20 Maria Yoleva, gold medalist of the 10K event in Vancouver during the Paralympic Games, coming to the finish line. So right now, once again, our women's leader after the finish line at six kilometers, Olena Yorkovska, Andrea Viker, and Marta Zenulina. And here comes Maria Yoleva. And for her, she'll be looking at a seventh place finish. Maria Yovleva coming up uh, very soon at 11.50 a.m. That is uh, once again Sweden time. So if the old time will be the start of our uh, free technique standing men. And don't forget competitions going all the way through to about 1.08 today. So there we have the results for the men's 7.5 Siski, Murigan, Kubo, Petushkov, and oh so close between Murigan and Kubo. Five tenths of a second separating gold from silver. And uh, there is the performance by Seoul. Knossin, some of the North Americans. Rosic, 14e pour la France. Shilov, Sergei Shilov, the great uh, Paralympian in the group. And that uh, is it for our first, bi first biathlon event of these 2013 IPC Nordic Skiing World Championships. To a good start, some uh, very interesting uh, action throughout the race. And some of the locals here, uh, fans of Noria. As we see the Noria, the Norway uh, toques, yep, yeah, Noria <laughs> showing the toque. And uh, there we are, our results here. Uh, however, I'm doubtful about that uh, result uh, for Andrea Escau because we do not have a time for her. It, it could be, we'll have to see with the judges. So it would look like uh, Andrea Escau, Jorkowska, and Vika. And we'll have to uh, confirm that uh, very soon. And if that's the case, well, it is a second world championship for uh, Andrea Escau here this weekend and what an amazing performance that would be uh, for her 1763 minutes faster uh, than her nearest competitor the great uh, Olena Yurkovska but she is a top athlete Andrea Escau as I mentioned winning the uh, gold at the London Paralympics hand cycling uh, individual time trial, but also winning the road race during those same Paralympic Games in London in front of a very strong field. So it would be Andrea Escau, Olena Yorkovska, Andrea Viker. And once again, we are, like I said, just waiting to confirm that as uh, here on our official board, we have no ranking for her 4K mark. Escal, but if it's been posted there, it's been approved by our officials. And congratulations once again to our top three. So our next event will be going, as I said, around 11:50 time of uh, Soleftio. And there we are. We have our replay now on the screen of Andrea Escal of Germany winning her second event of the week. So there we are, everybody. This completes our first portion of uh, today's webcast. Be back with us for 
that we have an interview before we leave you. So we'll uh, leave you with an interview. Our friend Eva is uh, down with some of our uh, champions here today. We'll be sending it down. After that, we'll take a short break and uh, we will uh, come back to Soleftio, uh, 11.50 local time, Sweden time. And uh, we will present to you our 7.5 kilometer free technique. Standing men, then we'll go to our uh, standing women, which will be a 6K race. And take another, um, maybe another short break, depending on how fast the skiers go through here. And it will be our blind, visually impaired races. And now we're going to send it down to uh, Eva, who uh, is uh, with uh, one of our competitors here today, uh, who performed very well. Eva, bound to you, my friend. Olena, congratulations for today's race. How was it on the course? Хорошо. Замечательно. Не считая одного умаха и поломанной палки. А так все хорошо. The race went smooth uh, despite uh, I made one missed shot and broke one pole. Besides this, the rest was perfect. So, after the first two races, um, they well, how were they for you? Ну, после первой гонки я отдыхала два дня. То есть с новыми силами отдохнувшая сегодня выступила. After the first cross country race, I had two days of rest, so I had time to relax and get all the strengths together. So today was a very good day because I, I could feel the power. And now what do you expect for the rest of the World Championships? I don't like, you know, to look ahead, to predict something. We'll see, but I hope for the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, thank you, uh, Eva, with uh, our uh, winner of today. So yes, it was official. We did uh, pick that up on the results. So uh, it is Olena Yurkowska who is the winner. Silver medalist goes to Germany's Anja Vicker and Marta Zenulina from Russia was third. So yes, Andreas Kahl not in the count today and not finishing the race as we saw there. Uh, no time had been posted for her four kilometer mark. So timing uh, and officials clearing, cleaning that one up. And then Olena Yurkowska, Anja Vicker, and uh, Marta Zenulina are our winners here today. Gold, silver, and bronze. And we are going to have, I think, our friend Eva down there with our silver medalist of the day uh, being interviewed. And this is another great performance for Anja Vika, who came close in the long distance cross country and in the sprint cross country fourth. Uh, but here today, looking to win and stand on the second step of the podium later today at our award ceremony. Eva is down now with our friend Anja Vikar. Anja, congratulations on the silver medal today. How does that feel? Oh, it, it feels exciting. I'm speechless, actually. I can't believe it just yet. I think it needs time to sink in. <laughs> yeah. It was a fantastic race of you today. How was how was it on course? Did you did you expect you could win a medal? No, never. Not in this field. Not no. I didn't expect it at all. But on the course, it went really good. I didn't expect that. And, and at the shooting range, you never know if it's this windy. And yeah, it went great. Yeah. So for the rest of the World Championships, do you have any more goals? Oh, I'm just happy right now and. I, I try to give my best in the, in the last few competitions, but right now I'm just happy. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, enjoy it. Thank you. Well, congrats, congratulations to Anja Vicker of Germany, who won the silver medal today. Quite a surprise, she said, for her. But uh, what counts is the final result, and she'll be standing on the second spot of the podium later on today. That will be going on live from Soleftio at 5.30. Well, from Soleftio, Sweden, we are going to take a short break and come back here at 11.50 
Soleftio Sweden time for the start of our men's biathlon free technique 7.5 kilometers standing event and then we'll have our women and blind visually impaired classes randy ferguson saying see you later come back and see us at 11:15 15 soleftio time